I'm not sure about you, but I really enjoyed that game yesterday. There were parts of it that need to be improved. The clinical finishing was not there. And yeah, we weren't perfect. Far from it. It's the first game of the season. We've had a broken preseason. That was Joshua Xerxes' first minutes in the United shirt. And the Licks and Masrawis. Yeah, of course we're going to be slow out of the blocks. But Xerxes, the goal that he scored and that cameo, that was exactly why Manchester United signed him. And I'm going to run through why. And if anybody had watched my profile of Xerxes, looked at his time at Bologna, everything that you saw yesterday was exactly what I spoke about. Now drop a like on the video and let's jump into this, all right? Because I really enjoyed watching Xerxes play, man. I've been waiting for it. And the thing about Xerxes is I didn't actually really know what to expect. I think we all do now. Now let me run through the goal itself. As I said, had you watched this profile video of Xerxes, everything I'm about to show you, there were countless examples of at Bologna. And it was expected, right? First slide here. You've got Bruno Fernandes down here with the ball. You've got Marcus Rashford there. And you've got Garnacho there. Now, Marcus Rashford is looking that way. Garnacho is looking that way. Xerxes only has eyes for that side of the pitch. He's facing the opposite direction, which gives Bruno Fernandes a different option. Of course, Xerxes comes short, turns around, feeds the ball into Garnacho, and then does what he does best from this position. Late runs into the box, all right? This is something you are going to see a lot this season. There's Garnacho over there. There is Joshua Xerxes. And you know how I said that he would kind of replace Scott McTominay's late runs into the box? Well, he's quite literally just poached in front of Scott McTominay here with a darting run. And I'll be honest, when I saw this live, it kind of looked like a bit of a scrappy finish. Now that I've seen it a few times, it absolutely was not a scrappy finish. But Xerxes just gets in front of McTominay. And you watch it a few times, you still don't even know if he touched the ball with Tomine. It was definitely Xerxes and nestles it into the bottom corner. And it was actually a fantastic finish. And those late runs, I'll go back a couple of slides there. From this position here, receiving the ball, turning, pass out wide, running late into the box, and a real striker's finish. It was not an easy finish and one that Rude would have been proud of and one that we all should have been expecting because that there is the perfect example of Joshua Xerxes' game. Whereas in this position here, let's go back to the, the presentation. In this position here, typically, like if that was Rasmus Hoyland, I'm not saying that look, they're different players. If this was Rasmus Hoyland, Hoyland would probably most likely be doing what Rashford is doing and what Garnacho is doing and trying to run in the space behind here because that previously would be where Bruno Fernandes would try and find the ball there or try and find the ball there. Joshua Xerxes does the complete opposite and United create a goal off the back of it. It is a very different skill set. It's a very different style of striker. And it is the perfect example of why we signed him. And I'm so happy that he managed to do that within the first 20, 25 minutes of his United career. Showed United fans exactly what he was all about. But on top of just that, on top of that goal, I think there was some really, really impressive link-up play. And I think this is a fantastic example. You can see Xerxes over here, right? There's Xerxes over there. There's Rashford down there. And it's what is that? Bruno Fernandes on the ball, right? Let's fast forward. So, ball is played there from Rashford to Xerxes, who turns and passes it out wide to Garnacho, right? We all know what happened there. Garnacho running. Joshua Xerxes, he's here, continuing his run. Bruno Fernandes over there. Everybody bolting forward, all right? But when it comes to Xerxes, a lot of his good work this season in the United show is probably going to come off the ball. And in this position here, you see a perfect example of it. Bruno Fernandes receives the ball. Joshua Xerxes sees the threat of that run. And by doing that, he forces the Fulham defender to cover that run, which allows Bruno Fernandes into that space there. And it's kind of one of those selfless runs that attackers do for their teammates. It's not a run that Xerxes... Well, I suppose Bruno Fernandes could have played Xerxes in had he wanted to, but he decided to go for a shot himself. And that run there creates that space. It forces the defenders to move over and give Bruno the opportunity to take the shot. And let's be honest, uh, Bruno Fernandes, you'd absolutely kind of be expecting his finishing to be a bit better than it was yesterday. 
Bruno Fernandes had two clear-cut chances in the first half. One with the outside of his right foot. It was a, it was a scuffed shot. And the other one that was a lovely through ball from Casemiro. And it was just kind of a good save from Leno. But I am just so delighted for this man. Because nobody really knew exactly what to... Oh, that's, that's a lie. I'm explaining to you here in this video. That's cool. I love those ones where you get the photos of all the, the faces and the goon in the Stretford end. <laughs> Having a great time. What I've just explained to you through that profile video I did before and through what we saw yesterday is that was massively predictable. And I say that in a very complimentary way. Joshua Xerxes has a skill set that is quite unique, that is very different to what Manchester United's attacking options have. Oh, sorry. We've got Garnacho and we've got Rashford. And as I showed you with that slide there, in this example, they will always look for those runs in behind. Whereas Xerxes was the complete opposite. And he looked for the ball short, which ultimately created the opportunity for United to score. Now, last season, it took Rasmus Horn in how many goals? How many, sorry, how many games to score his first Premier League goal? Was it like 12, 13? I can't remember. He was scoring in the Champions League. I think it was against Villa. I said this in my match reaction. But Xerxes got his first one. Man of the match award. And his first goal was worth two points to Man United. His first goal was in front of the Stretford end. His first goal was what? Was that even his first shot as a Manchester United player? I think it was. It may even have been his first touch in the penalty area. I don't know. But I know a certain other Dutch striker who scored on his Manchester United debut against Fulham at Old Trafford. And that was Ruud van Nistelrooy. And I tell you what, it wasn't his debut, I don't think. I think it was his Old Trafford debut. Van Persie scored against Fulham as well. Remember the ball that was swung in from the left? And it was a first time finish into the other corner. That was a great goal. Ruud would have been delighted with that. We want... The, the biggest thing that we were missing when Xerxes wasn't on the pitch was a presence in the middle. And I, I was confused as to why Neville and Carragher, I said this match, reac match reaction as well, that 4-2-2-2, four, four, two, two, that 4 triple 2 whatever you want to call it, that system with two false nines, Xerxes fits in perfectly because of that natural tendency to come here and find the space. He doesn't always run forward. He drops into the half spaces. He himself called himself a 9.5. I'm not a striker. I'm not a number 10. I'm somewhere in between. That's exactly what that goal showed. And the link-up play, the, the running behind, the selfless running behind for Bruno. He's going to be a team player. And if you can bring goals like that, that change games like that, in your first appearance at Old Trafford, having not played any preseason, in your first minutes in the United shirt, it bodes well. And I'm excited to see how he continues to develop because that's far from the finished product. But what an introduction that was.